Are you ready to witness a monumental shift in the world's energy consumption? As nations around the globe commit to reducing their reliance on fossil fuels, Saudi Arabia, the world's largest oil producer, is taking an unprecedented step toward sustainability. Join us as we take an inside look at Saudi Arabia's push to electric vehicles and their plans to become the preeminent supplier of fossil fuels while boosting of their environmentally friendly and sustainable practices. Time magazine was granted admission to a typically concealed research and development center of Saudi Aramco, a fossil fuel titan that surpasses industry leaders such as ExxonMobil and Chevron. The company is aggressively declaring its aspiration to achieve net zero carbon emissions within its boundaries by 2060. Since 1930s, when California wild caters discover a wellspring of oil, Saudi Arabia has been catapulted into the world stage as a major player in the oil industry. They've managed to extract a staggering 267 billion barrels of proven oil reserves, accounting for roughly 15% of the world's total. It's no wonder that the kingdom has become synonymous within the term oil rich. Every day, this desert kingdom extracts an astonishing 11 million barrels of oil, that's about 1 out of every 10 barrels produced in the entire world. Not content with keeping all that oil for themselves, they sell more than 7 million barrels on international markets, bringing in a staggering amount of wealth for their ruling royalty and the state-owned enterprise Aramco. In fact, Aramco's profits soared to an unbelievable $110 billion last year. It's no wonder that they are sitting pretty in the lap of luxury. The Saudis find themselves in the midst of a worldwide crisis as nearly every nation has committed to reducing their reliance on fossil fuels, which account for the majority of Earth's greenhouse gas emissions. This shift toward cleaner energy could potentially be the most significant change in the energy consumption since the automobile era began over a century ago. However, if Saudi Arabia's bold strategy pays off, even as it simultaneously boasts of its environmentally friendly and sustainable practices at home, it's worth noting that Aramco, the national oil company, has recently become the world's second most valuable company just behind Apple with a market cap exceeding $2.3 trillion. This has led to a significant increase in gas prices and the company's earnings have nearly doubled this year. Aramco has a variety of strategies to achieve net zero carbon emissions. One plan involves the installation of an EV charging network and the implementation of low energy electricity systems in homes and offices. In addition, the company is currently building 33 solar and wind projects and constructing a green fuel plant in Neom, a futuristic city in the northwest region of the country. The researchers at Aramco are developing a synthetic fuel made from a combination of captured carbon and hydrogen, which they claim will significantly reduce pollution from regular vehicles by 80%. This fuel is set to be marketed by the company in 2025. Rather than reducing oil production, Aramco's engineers believe that the focus of the energy transition should be on drilling oil more sustainably. Energy analysts suggest that as the Saudis have been able to extract oil more affordably than everyone else in the 1930s, they are well positioned to tackle the climate crisis with effective solutions. However, the government has a history of opposing climate change mitigation efforts and Aramco has no plans to decrease oil and gas production by 2030. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, has announced an ambitious plan to increase the country's renewable energy output to 50% by 2030 and plant 10 billion trees in the coming years. In response to the climate crisis, the Saudi Green Initiatives aims to reduce the certification, dust storms, and air pollution in the kingdom, which have had negative impacts on both the economy and public health. Health. The initiative is part of a broader effort to diversify the economy and reduce the country's reliance on oil. Bin Salman stated that the kingdom recognizes its responsibility to combat the climate crisis and is committed to balancing economic growth with environmental protection. The announcement has been praised by Saudi Arabia's Gulf allies as well as the UN Climate Change Chief and the International Renewable Energy Agency. However, it remains unclear whether the country will decrease its oil production and exports while ramping up its renewable energy capabilities. Saudi Arabia's ambition in the field of renewable energy had been described as huge by Tanzid Alam, a climate change consultant based in the United Arab Emirates. Alam notes that it is a bold statement coming from the world's largest oil producer. Currently, renewables only make up a tiny fraction of Saudi Arabia's final energy consumption, but the country is making efforts to change that. While neighboring UAE aims to achieve a 50% target by 2050, Saudi Arabia's renewable energy would mainly come from large-scale solar power farms in the desert due to the abundance of sunshine. According to Alam, the scale of the projects and the favorable climatic conditions make solar power in the Saudi Arabia cheaper than anywhere else. 
The International Energy Agency also acknowledges the potential for solar power to be highly cost-competitive at large scale in favorable conditions. Allah mentioned that the Saudi government faces a considerable challenge to attain its 50% renewable energy target, and investing in energy storage is critical to accomplishing this feat. As of now, only Iceland and Norway have achieved this milestone. Furthermore, he noted that both the government and private sector would need to contribute to achieving this objective. The government's public investment fund provides risk finance to support a competitive bidding process. Thanks for watching this far. Don't miss out on the rest of the details, so let's dive right back. In addition to investing in renewables, the government has committed to pursuing clean hydrocarbon initiatives aimed at reducing the pollution caused by fossil fuels. This is expected to involve techniques such as carbon capture and storage, minimizing methane emissions, and utilizing renewable energy for fossil fuel extraction. While Saudi Arabia's ambitious plans to plant 10 billion trees is commendable, experts have raised concerns about the feasibility of achieving this goal in the third driest country in the world. The Saudi press agency has announced that the planting of 10 billion trees will take place over several decades, with an additional 40 billion trees to be planted across the Middle East. Currently, only 0.5% of Saudi Arabia's land is forested, and the Middle East's tree cover is predominantly concentrated along the Mediterranean coast. Kenneth Richards, an environmental economist, pointing out that massive tree planting projects have faced high morality rates in the past due to local conditions. Considering the harsh climatic conditions in the areas targeted by these initiatives, it's not hard to imagine a similar issue arising. However, climate change consultant Tanseed Alam, based in the UAE, argued that areas susceptible to the certification once had flourishing vegetation. He emphasized that Saudi Arabia is not just a desert but has fertile areas that have been affected by increasing the certification. According to Alam, in the 1950s, the Saudi Arabian government abandoned a traditional sustainable land management system called Al Hima. Instead, they took control of tribal land and encouraged crop cultivation, which resulted in a strain on water resources. Lucid Group has announced a major deal with the government of Saudi Arabia, stating that the country will purchase up to 100,000 of its electric vehicles in the next decade. The US based automaker, which is majority owned by Saudi Arabia's Public Wealth Fund, launched its luxury sedan Air last year. Following the news, Lucid shares rose by over 5% in after-hours trading. The Ministry of Finance of Saudi Arabia has committed to buying a minimum of 50,000 vehicles from Lucid over the next 10 years, with an option to acquire an additional 50,000 during the same period. Lucid is set to sell a variety of their vehicles, ranging from air sedans to new models in Saudi Arabia. These purchases will not only include cars made at Lucid's current factory in Arizona, but also at a new factory they plan to construct in Saudi Arabia. Although the initial orders from Saudi Arabia are expected to be limited, with only 1,000 to 2,000 vehicles per year beginning in 2023, the deliveries will gradually increase to between 4,000 and 7,000 per year by 2025, as announced by Lucid. Lucid's progress in scaling up production at its Arizona facility has been impeded by difficulties in the supply chain. The company recently revised its projected production figures for 2022, citing these challenges as a reason for a reduction in its expectations. Lucid now estimates that it will manufacture only 12,000 to 14,000 vehicles this year, a significant drop from the earlier prediction of 20,000. And there you have it! A closer look at Saudi Arabia's ambitious plans for a more sustainable future. Are you excited to witness this monumental shift in the world's energy consumption? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I am Jules. Please subscribe to our channel for more technology updates and like and share this video. If you're interested in learning more about Saudi Arabia's incredible giga projects that shock the entire world, be sure to check out this video. So click and watch next video here.